This is what the finished submarine looks like up hanging on the wall in my This is what the finished submarine looks like up hanging on the wall in my atrium in Florida. See, I got it mounted with two uh, rods going into the wall. The only thing I had to buy was the propeller. It's a five-bladed. I couldn't make that. But it's an Ohio-class submarine, 36 inches long, three inches in diameter. All right. All right, here's the submarine I want to make. What it is, is this on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. I copied this off the internet. Then what I did, certain parts of it, I blew it up. I wanted to make it 37 and a half inches long. So I found I had to increase, multiply the, the drawing that I had in a thing by three point, three, like 3.78. And that increased it to, to the diameter I want it. And then I can measure this. And then what it is is I got a full layout, 37 and a half inches of the submarine. So I can measure off of this and make it. Turned out to be around three inches diameter, 37 and a half inches long. Then what I did was Turned it on lathe. I turned it on a lathe. Then I mounted it to this board. And then I ran it through the table saw to slice, to cut off this flat. Because the top of it's flat, and I'll show you. Now, what it is, is I found, make it easier, I had to cut all the way through, and then I glued this piece on, and I put it back in a lathe. And turn that around because the, the flat part only runs from here back to there. All right, so let me show you what it looks like after I turn it on a lathe. <clears throat> All right, you can see on this, I chopped off the end that I was using it to turn on the lathe. And I got the front mounted. Now I, now I got to build up this top section when it's an addition up because that's the, the shape of the sub that goes. Now what it is is because the outer shape's a little hard to copy, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some carbon paper down on it. Cover Cover the whole top with carbon paper, but I'm going to put the carbon paper with the carbon face up. Face up, cover the whole thing. I'm going to take a piece of butcher paper, put it down. On top, I'm just going to use an old stapler. To hold, the paper in place. Now take a pencil and just rub it along that line. All the way around here to the very back. Do the same thing on this other side. And then let's see what I got. Pop the staples off. Ah, 
right. What I have is the layout that I need. Now I'm going to cut this paper out, staple it down on the board, cut that out, and then I got to glue this on top. And I'll show you what that looks like after I cut it all out. I said I made it out of popular. I mean, actually, it's out of white pine today. That's some nice white pine. All right. Like I say, I put staples on the bottom of the piece after paper after I cut it out. Now all I do is pop all the staples off. It's on the bottom of the piece. It don't make any difference. piece. Now, this shows a rounding off of this edge. And I sort of do that on the, by hand on the sander and so on. And then glue that piece down. And then I want to go ahead and, and, and I put some body filler in along here to sort of blend those two in. And I'll show you how that goes. Got the piece cut out. I don't know if you can see. They got it rounded fairly good. I'm going to glue it right on top now. nailer and it up all right all right the next thing I wanted to do with this sub uh, is set it up to mount it to the wall I'm going to head it modern into a wall. And what it is, is I really just drilled two holes, quarter inch holes, and I got these quarter inch rods. That I set in, and one little trick I found, I wanted to make sure they were nice and straight going in, so the best way to do that is with a long drill. Didn't have a long drill, so hey, Took one and a quarter inch rods, ground it to a point, ground off half of it at a point, and you can use that as a drill. Had some boards down there to help me level it off, space them out, you know, drill it in. It gave me a little better, I could line up a little bit better to keep it nice and square. Fine. Let me take that out. Next thing I'm doing, I got to put a slot in here for the fins. So I got a board. All right, let me get a clamp. Clamp down a board here. That board's roughly a little bit below the center of that. Now, take my saw. I got it marked. I got to go inch and three quarters in. All right, I got two clamps holding that board down. I got this board on halfway to the center. Got the old handsaw. I gotta go three, one and three quarters of an inch in.
Let that slot in. This is the Ohio class submarine. I got it all sanded down. Ready, I'm gonna paint it now. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm all done. Well, this is what this finished sub looks like. I put Ohio down there because actually it's, the sub's number is SSGN726, which is the Ohio. And this is the sub, 36 inches long. There's the prep. I'll show you what it looks like hanging up on a wall when I get down to Florida.